Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out Lebo View. And today I'm doing yet another video on some electronics. And in this case, it's something that I wanted to pick up for my camera. It's a mini premium iPhone charger, which will work on other phones too. But what I wanted to use this for is just a battery source. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use it with my camera. In addition, I have this Sabrent 2.0 USB. And these have power buttons. You can see, you plug in your USB, then it has ports more USB items and you hit the buttons to turn it on and off. Now this is going to be for a rig job that I'm doing on my Canon PowerShot ELF 300HS and that's what I'm shooting with now. I wanted a way to turn on the point and shoot and turn it off with a remote. However the remotes that are required for this are like $70 or you can make one or you can do like I'm going to do here because this is portable and allow me to turn the camera on and off from a distance with a cable that's connected to the mini USB that's on the camera. Now the way you do that is there's a Canon hack development kit and it's basically a downloaded program that you put on your memory card and it's unharmful to the camera. It's really cool. I'll put a link to that site. Let's go ahead and open these up and see what we got. Here we got it. It's Jackery. Unbox this. All right, so let's open the box. There you go. Thank you for your support. Download the app. Comes with a little cable and then the port itself. I'm sure there's plenty of reviews on this. Uh, I don't want to go over all the, the features in that. It's just basically a, a battery supply. That's what I needed to make this work. So. Let's go ahead and pull these two items out. Okay, now here we have the Sabrent connecting differently four point USB 2.0 hub with power switches. And this was kind of important. Um, I needed the ability to have a power source that would supply on and off as demanded. So let's open this up and take a look at it. You can see here what it looks like, kind of cool. It's got those little ports. Let's go ahead and see what happens whenever I hook it up the way that I want to. Here's all the players that I wanted to show you of the game. Uh, here's the power pack. Here's the USB that I'll be plugging into the power pack. That'll allow this to be energized with what's coming out of here. I'm then going to take and plug this adapter for this USB to mini USB into one of the ports on the uh, four port system. Then I'm going to plug it into my camera and my camera has the CHDK system set up and I went into the programming and I turned on the feature that will allow a remote to turn it on and off through its mini USB port, which you can find right here. Okay, so I've got all this together and I know it's a little messy, but basically you can see just like I described power pack into USB 4 port. One of the ports then has got a cable going into the camera. When you're using the CHDK, you push this button here to start your camera. You'll see it'll go into some pictures here. This is something that I recorded just a second ago. You go into menu, go ahead and go down. You'll see it'll say firmware update. You select it, it'll say okay. And at that point, it comes up with a different menu and it looks different and there's a lot of features in here. But the most important thing is, is now I can record longer than 10 minutes and I can turn this on and off with this button and I'll show you how. Turn on the power pack, you can see there. And then at that point, just push the button and that starts the recording. So I'm recording right now with the camera. And then when I wanna stop it after however long, it doesn't make a difference, that's it, it turns it off. That's what I wanted to do. So now I'll just make this cable a real long cable that runs up to my camera on the tripod and then keep it attached to this port that's either plugged into my computer here at home or while I'm out, I can use this power pack to do the same. And the nice thing is this power pack can also recharge my phone. Okay, so there you have it. I'm gonna put the link down below for the power pack and also the four port switch. Now you can, if you'd like, just get the power pack and then get a cable that has an inline switch or maybe you can make your own. But I thought for how cheap it was, um, this was on sale, I think it was only about uh, $15 at the time, and this is only about $6. 
So I thought no sense of me trying to mess around and figure it out on my own. Really, I wanted to make this portable. What I'll do is run a cable from this switch here up to the camera, and I'll keep this close to me whenever I'm shooting. Of course, this at that point will be plugged into the power port, and it's just a matter of clicking the button and making the uh, record start and stop as I need it. So thanks for watching LeboView, and if you have any questions, I'll try to answer. Uh, if you like this video, click like or subscribe, and I'll get more on like it. And again, down below is the links. Click it and go with it. I appreciate it. Bye.